Hello there, hi, Charles here. Um, this is just a quick video to link in with a post that I've put up on our blog sites uh, within the last few hours. I put up an article about the top 30 UK grammar schools for this year, 2021. All of the grammar schools in the UK produce great results. Sure, we know that. That's a given. That's evidenced enough over the last few decades and decades before that. But these ones, they're even better. They perform at a level that would, to be honest, put a, a fair chunk of private schools to shame if you were just comparing them results and results rather than, say, other issues. So if you are someone who's thinking of sending your children to a grammar school and you're umming and ahhing about whether you should put in the uh, preparation work that's necessary. Recognise, realise that the level of oversubscription for these schools is, it's around about a factor of six or seven or even higher. So what that's telling you is that at least for some of these schools, five out of six of the people who've practised and practised and put time in for weeks, months, years even, to get into these schools, won't make the cut, they won't make the grade, but they were still willing to give it a go. Now, they may have a good plan A, a plan B, and a plan C, as I hope you do too, but have a look at these results, see the kind of results that you can get from a good UK grammar school, and then ask yourself, are you willing to put in place a programme to get your child there? Since... Um, like for us, we're working with uh, students who are going to be taking their entrance exam for grammar schools this September. We're now in June, so we've got really less than 90 days of preparation time left. So if you're in year six, hear those warning bells going off. You know, make sure the wheels are down. You're coming into land. You've not got time to go around more than once or twice. You've got to make this a good landing you're getting close to time and the fuel's running out. If you're in year, um, that's year, year five, okay? If you're in year four or year three, you've got time. You've got time. Slow, steady, regular progress will build up the strength. But remember, the score you're looking for could well have been oversubscribed by a factor of five, six or seven. The data is out there. Step back from looking just at the scores information. What I'd suggest is look at some of the other information that's on the internet where um, many of the great and good websites collate and consolidate information on uh, admission criteria, admission levels, oversubscriptions. So you need to know how many other people you're up against. Some schools, the ratios might be lower, some they're higher. Um, so if you're in year five, you are cutting it fine because you, um, you kids go back into year six, six exams. If you're in year four, yeah, now is the time you should be banking the knowledge. And if you're in year three, you've got a chance. You've got a really good chance. Below that, if you're in year two, um, I'd love to, for you to stay in touch with us. Let's see about helping you perhaps. But right now in year two, the main thing is just let your children learn their English to a good standard for their age and their maths to a good standard for their age, making sure that you just keep them on the front foot, keep them going forwards, so that um, get them to read some good books, get them to even have a little booklet. We always say to our students, have a little booklet. All the words that they get stuck on, write them in. All the words they're not, that are new to them, write them in, because those words are going to become the building blocks for later. So even at an early age, you can do some of the preparation. So if, you're in year, if they're in year three, yeah, sure. If they're in year four, you need to get the work doing. If they're in year five, well, five's nearly over. And by the time they get to six, it's exam time. So have a look at the list. See what kind of results those get and decide. Is there, is there one near to you that you can apply to, uh, you're thinking of? Is it you're thinking of moving, in which case just make sure that you dot all the I's and cross all the T's because you don't want to have your application rejected because you're not resident at the right date, you can't prove because of paperwork, you things like that.
and it does happen um, but yes have a look these 30 are amazing really good um, I'll be happy to 